Hey guys, it's Nold. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, install Sublime Text, the latest version of it on Kali Linux. And uh, like, yeah, let's just get to it. So you're going to open up uh, Ice Weasel, and then now you're going to go to sublimetext.com. Okay, yeah, just well three Sublime Text three. Just Google that, and then you're going to instead of hitting the Ubuntu 64, click the tarball. Sorry, now you're going to save that file. And now what you're going to do is you're going to open up that file in your Explorer or you can open up the terminal. All right, now you're going to um, change directory to your downloads and not your documents like I, I was trying to do in this video, but go on to your downloads. I'm going to list the directory. And now you're going to extract it. I'm going to type tar dash v or yeah v x j f and not x v j f just like how I typed it make sure you put the the uh, the dash and then just hit tab and then press enter okay now the next thing what you're going to do you're going to move this uh move that uh, directory to uh, uh to your opt directory Type in sudo mv sublime forward slash text forward slash three or backslash not forward slash not forward slash opt and I got an error. Let's go see what's. I think it's because uh I uh yeah it's not it has the underscore and not the yeah, that's what I assume. And it's uh, not capital. So just make sure when you type everything that's, that it's saved as. Make sure you have those spaces on it. And now you're going to do the same thing. Again, that we just typed. Just press the up key. Well, for me, the directory already did this. But uh, after you do that, it would move it. And it would, you wouldn't get any error. But it just move it to the OPT. And then now we're going to make a, a dynamic link, basically. And um, so we're going to type in sudo ln <clears throat> I'm trying to remember uh, dash s forward slash opt forward slash sublime backslash text backslash three then forward slash sublime and underscore text and then you're going to forward slash it again and this is where we're going to make the uh, name where you can type in the actual uh, command to open it so I think you're going to put uh, yeah user then and then now we're going to make the uh the dynamic link so with this you can uh um you can basically name it anything but whatever you name it that's what's going to open up sublime text so uh what you're going to do you can name it anything you if i type in like for here if i type in sublime it's going to open up sublime text the latest version and then you're going to do the same exact thing so um, uh, you're going to go to that. You could call it sublime text underscore start and then press enter. And there you'd be able to do the same thing again. Sublime underscore start and it opens up the same thing. So you can call it whatever you want. That's up to you. But after you do that, you're done. You can you can just exit out of it and then there. But um, for me, I'm just going to delete the... Uh, sublime underscore start so whatever things that you do <clears throat> you're going to delete that well for me i'm deleting it because I, I, I only need one for it. i just put sublime i just deleted that one that I, that I made it's a dynamic link so what we're going to do is see now it doesn't it shows that it can't do that now i deleted the dynamic link because i only need one but now sublime works and yeah that's pretty much it 
Um, if you guys would like, comment, and share, and subscribe to my channel, uh, like all my videos, that'd be really great. Just starting out, right now only have 14 subs, but you know, I'm gonna get somewhere. Well, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.